You've chosen to install Ubuntu using the Windows installer. If you would like to install Ubuntu using a different method, click this annotation now to go to the selection screen in part 1 of this video series. If you would like more information on Ubuntu and its system requirements, click this annotation now. We're going to begin by downloading the Windows installer from Ubuntu's official website at ubuntu.com. Once here, select the download tab at the top and then click run it with Windows. Then press the big orange start download button. The download will automatically begin. It's 1495 kilobytes in size, so it should be downloaded very quickly. Once it has, run the file and then press the run button if a security warning appears. In this window, choose your installation drive if you have more than one. I'm going to choose C as that's my SSD drive, so that's going to be faster for me. Then if you wish you can change the installation size, which is like partitioning the hard drive, but if you keep it as default that will work fine. Keep the desktop environment as Ubuntu. I'm going to choose English Great Britain for my language. Now your username can only have lowercase letters. I'll just show that now by putting a capital. And then put in um, your desired password, so I'll just tap that in now. As you can see, if I press install, it will tell me please use all lowercase in the username. So no capitals in the username and you'll be fine. Then click the install button. If any Windows firewall dialogues appear or any other firewalls, allow access for them. Now it gives you an approximate remaining time for the download. So I'll just skip that along in this video. The download's about to finish now. The approximate time counter was in fact very accurate, which is quite unusual for most installations. Almost there. It's now checking the files, and here we go. So once you get to here, you can choose to either manually reboot later, or reboot now to finish the installation. So I'm going to reboot now, put a dot in the radio button next to that, and then press the finish button. I'm using my virtual machine to demonstrate the reboot so that I can use my screen recording software to keep the video quality high. So I'm just going to start that virtual machine now. As you can see, this is the boot menu. And I have Windows 7, which is what was installed before I installed Ubuntu on this virtual machine. And then I can also choose Ubuntu up here. Now on your computer, when you reboot, it will probably look a bit simpler than this with just your previous operating system or operating systems and then the choice to select Ubuntu it will just say Ubuntu not with Linux 2.6 etc so you can use your arrow keys to go down to that and then hit enter to select it we'll just wait for that to boot up now so there we go Ubuntu has been successfully installed as I'm sure you noticed, the boot time was quite fast. I hope that from watching this video series, you have been able to successfully install Ubuntu. If you would like to install Ubuntu using a CD or USB flash drive, perhaps as a backup copy, or if you are going to install Ubuntu in the future on a computer that won't have internet access at the time, then you can click one of the annotations now. If you found my video series useful, please like, comment, favourite and subscribe, and if you want, you could do the same for all of the other videos in the series, especially part one. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.